It's get time for our video. Time to rig the last. And this is uh, the Gekito level. Alright? So, as discussed before, this is a uh, slim falling leaf jig. And this whole series, it is for uh, these jigs that we use when the tuna are a bit finicky. They're on top, they don't want to bite top waters so we we discovered that we could catch them on jigs and we've been very successful doing that and this is uh either yellowfin or long tail tuna that we're after all right so if you're new to the channel this channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing we cover everything from big game ultralight everything in the middle including fly fishing and lately we've been filling the uh jig rigging library with jigging or rigging tutorials on how to read jigs and stuff. And uh, this is a different way to rig the uh, Gikito, owner Gikito level jig. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put the, a thread base here because of the kind of material that we're working with is very compatible with super glue and we want to have the uh, super glue adhere compatibility is really good but no excuse for a sloppy job all right now this is the challenge we're going to be using fly tying synthetic here and i'll show you why Okay, I'll show you exactly why. This is a, a little bit different from the last one because this is very unruly. Okay, so we'll, we'll cut about this long. And I'll show you how to get everything through the eye right there. All right, so I'm gonna put this back. So, okay, there we go. And we want it to be that long when it's done. All right. So what we do here, quite simple. Okay. This is just for carbon. You take this, put it in the hole. Like so. Put our material through it. Actually, you know what? Here, easier. Okay. You take fluorocarbon, put it through like so, put it around all the material like that, and then put the, the point through again. E easy. It doesn't get any easier than that. All you do is actually pull that, and before you know it, that thing's already there. Pull it back. Okay? Pull it back, and what we want is an equal... Actually, that's long enough. That's fine. So, if you're very critical about the length okay okay there we go if you're very critical about the length what you could do is uh adjust it now okay but since this is long enough what we're gonna do is just do that all right pry everything back like so okay hold everything back like that all right, then cut it. There we go. That's it. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now, as I mentioned, this is very compatible with the glue. So we just spiral this and ensure that the material is spread around the hook cleanly. So if not, just don't tighten, just spread it. Okay, use your thumb and nail to spread it around the hook. This one is not centered, so all you have to do is just move it, and then just move it around so that the uh, material is spread around the hook, like so, okay? There we go. 
that just envelopes the hook. As you can see there, there are no gaps, all right? Right then and there, just there. Now, I left gaps there because what we want is for the, the super glue to penetrate. Okay. Now, what we haven't done is actually prepare the uh, line for this. And uh, we're going to use the 240. Okay. And we want about three quarters of the length of the jig for this one. We take our needle, which is a uh, sewing needle, a giant sewing needle. Okay. Then we run the needle through and just make sure that it doesn't snag any other fiber except for the ones that you need so that uh, you can thread it in the middle. Go through the end like so, okay? And then stretch it out. Now, once you stretch it out, that's not going to move. All right, now check this out. See, that's uh, tough. It won't move. All right, so now we take a uh, solid ring, put it on there. Take tag, put it through the eye, like so. Okay, now all you need to do is just push this on the bottom right here, and then make sure that. You adjust the tag in the eye so that it goes into the uh, hollowed body easier. Okay, and guess what? There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. You can do it. You guys can do it. Do a few wraps so that the thread is positioned at the back. Do your knot. Like so. And then adjust it so that you have the length that you need. Like so. And then, look at your measurement. Actually pull this to tighten it. Okay. Now, all we have to do, all you have to do is just tie everything down. Do a good job, do a good job, make it clean so that it doesn't look weird, it looks neat. Tie this without gaps, make it as clean as possible. Okay, make your next assist hook, the one that you're tying, better than the last one. Only way to improve. Always do your best and uh, be anal about it. This is, uh, you're customizing it for your use. There is no reason for you to skimp out on anything, including effort. So, just make sure that it looks super clean, super tidy. Make it look like it's a $100 assist hook. There you go. There we go, there we go. And then, close it down. Okay, that, that basically is it. A little bit more pulling, just to give you all right, that's it. Okay, now I'll show you the special power of this. Okay, so. All right, you see it glow? You see it glow? That is the special power of this. So it makes it really visible from a distance. Okay. So even when the flash isn't working, this will work. And uh, it has been proven that UV works as far as visibility is concerned it works a bit more 
than flash. So makes it very visible to fish. Now all you have to do is just put a uh, solid ring there. Okay. And what we want is for this to actually sit there. Okay. And uh, we're going to put a swivel. So we rig this like so. Okay. It's going to sit like that. It is going to sit like that. Okay. Like that. All you need is really just put a swivel in the split ring and this is ready. And we have one right here. And then after this, we just need to super glue it. And I'm gonna leave the super glue into a while, but there is the jig. And this thing will catch tuna like there's no tomorrow. That is. There you go. That is it. Alright, so if you have questions, just drop them in the comment section. You know, I always answer it. Uh, if you've learned something, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more, subscribe. Click on the uh, notification bell after click on the, on the uh, subscribe button. Alrighty. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.